All right, this tutorial is comes by request of the sh of this shift conference we did, where um, we were instructing high school teachers on uh, some basics of Premiere Pro. And I'm going to show how to do a, a split screen here, show, pull up multiple images into one. Uh, some ba this is basic compositing in Premiere here. I'm going to take one of these shots here. I've got four similar shots. This is almost kind of like the Brady Bunch uh, squares, where you've got like different squares up in different regions of your screen here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take all four of these. So I've, I've dragged a, a clip into my timeline. I've generated a new timeline. Once again, how you do, you'll want to do that is grab one of these, any of these clips here. If you want to see what your resolution is, I'm going to click on this little bar here, go up and say preview area and it will show a quick thumbnail preview of these uh, clips that I select down here. By the way, I am in list mode right now instead of icon mode. So I'm going to grab one of these clips here and uh, look at the resolution and all four of these are the exact same resolution and same frame rate, a little bit different length, but I'm going to grab one of these clips here and I'm going to drag and drop it on this little dog ear uh, document piece here, drop it there and we've set up our timeline based on the settings of those clips there. But I'm just going to bring in pretty much just the, vi the video here and do a video edit instead of the instead of a do uh, doing an audio mix as well, but right now I've got this timeline. I'm going to hit enter and rename this. It names it after the same name of the clip that you dragged in there, so I'm just going to call this final composite or something like that. Now I'm going to grab one of these clips, drag it into my source monitor. I'm going to make each one of these the same length here. So let's find the portion where I want to start. Right there, there's some action. That's good. So I'm going to hit endpoint there, hit I for endpoint. And I want each one of these, let's say we want this to be uh, 10 seconds long. Okay, so I want to jump forward 10 seconds ahead here to put an out point. So I want this clip to be 10 seconds exactly. And what I'm going to do is, and you're going to have to do all this on your numpad. Your numpad is what you use uh, as the numerical entry uh, way of navigating with your clip or your timeline. Uh, but right here, this, this is all on my numpad. You can't hit the regular keys up on the top of the keyboard. I'm going to hit uh, plus, because it's going to go forward, plus 10 for 10 seconds. But then I, if I just hit en enter on my numpad right now, it's going to jump ahead 10 frames. So I need to do a placeholder for my frames. I can either do 0, 0, or a little shortcut is just doing period. So plus 10 period is going to jump forward 10 seconds and the period is the frame holder there. So hit enter on my numpad, not on my main keyboard, but on the numpad, enter. And by the way, I hit period on the numpad as well. And I hit O for out point. I have a clip that is exactly 10 seconds long. Shift 3 will jump to my timeline, home to go to the beginning there. And I'm going to hit period to drop that down inside. Notice it brought down video and audio and I just wanted to bring down video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock my audio there and then hit period again and it drops just the video down. I'm going to hit slash above the enter key on the main keyboard, a slash on the main keyboard, the backwards or the backward slash, backward slash, yes. Shift plus to increase my track height. Make a little bit more room here because I'm going to do a composite. Grab this, drag it down because I'm not going to use my audio. I'm going to grab my video assign here. This is basically source patching. It's going to assign whatever's in the source monitor to this track right here or whatever track this is moved to. Right now I'm going to go to video track 2. So I drag this uh, next one in here. I'm going to find that a moment where, where she's kind of smiling. We're going to hit end point there. Go to my numpad. Everything on the numpad plus 10 period. You have to make sure that that, that is all on your numpad, not on your main keyboard. Enter. It jumps ahead 10 seconds. O for out point. Shift 3 to go to my timeline. Home. Period to drop that in. Let's go to the next one. Drag and drop the next one in. Where starts moving her face, so that's some dynamic uh, stuff there. So in point, plus 10 period, enter on my numpad, jumps ahead 10 seconds, zero, and I'm going to source patch this to the third track, home to go to the beginning, and period to drop it in, and let's do it to the fourth one. There's some really dynamic movement with the hands and whatnot, plus 10, period, enter, zero, and I can't source patch up here because there's not another track, so I'm going to right click in here and add a track, and it's added another track up here. Now I can source patch to that one, home, period, and drop that in. Shift plus to bring up the track height on that one, and I've got four different tracks in here now, and these are all on top of each other here. Now whatever one is on top is the one that takes over. Watch if I move this to the side here, now look it's viewing the video clip below it. If I move that one, it's viewing the video clip below it. And now this one is viewing the clip below it. So undo all those. 
we're going to start, we're going to move this one up into the corner here and then move the next one up into the corner here and kind of do the Brady Bunch windows here. So let's start with the top one here. I'm going to select the top one, go up to Effect Controls, and I'm going to use, now, the, now that this clip is selected, these are the effect controls for this specific clip. So up here, I'm going to arrow this down here and look at the position keyframes here. One thing I can do, you can either do changing position here, or what's a little bit easier in my opinion is anchor point. Let's see what happens when you move position. This is moving the actual position here. Where these numbers come from, by the way, this resolution is 1920 by 1080. This is half the resolution, 960, 540. So basically the position on screen is at 960. It's 960 pixels in and 540 pixels down is kind of the center point of this. So you can actually either do that or change this position like this to move this screen around here or you can move your anchor point. Your anchor point, watch this. I'm going to hit the wireframe here just to show you what's happening with anchor point. I'm going to click on the motion tab. This is your anchor point. This is what things rotate around. This is what uh, it scales around. You can change the anchor point. It actually changes the position. So as we move that over, let's select the wireframe. Now you notice that the anchor is staying right in the middle of the screen, but you're changing it so it's actually moving the video instead of just moving the anchor point. And that's the way Premiere works. So anchor point is good, kind of a good mathematical way to kind of get these into the corner that you need. First of all, I'm going to bring this down 50%, and it's going to fit it up into one quadrant. 50% scale, this thing is uh, just large enough to fit up into one of these corners. We've got four images, so I go to 50%, I'm going to fit it up, and 50% will fit it, will fit four of these into one screen here. I'm going to turn these ones off, just so I hit the eyeball here, just so I can kind of see what I'm doing with this image. And now I'm going to move it up to this corner right here. And with the anchor point here, if you want to get the mathematics exact, so we move this up here. This is going to be 1080 pixels up, so because it's uh, it's a 1920 by 1080 image space here. So I'm going to just go 1080. So it's now it's lined perfectly along the top here, and my anchor point here is going to be over this way. So this is actually going to be 1920. So nine, it looks like 1920 by 1080. Moves it up into the corner. That's the way the mathematics work on this. Now the anchor point is actually right down in this corner and it's like shove the video up into this corner here. Actually I'm going to make this a little bit smaller to make a border here. I'm going to take this down to let's go 48 and I'm going to move this over. Right now everything's going to be touching but we're going to kind of offset these a little bit but I've got a little border around the corner here. Actually let's go to 46 just to make a little bit more of a border. Okay so now that we've got this one done here, really simple thing that you can do. I'm going to turn on the next one and now this one is underneath this one here. I'm just going to select this clip right click and copy, select the bottom one, right click and paste attributes. And it's going to ask me what do I want to paste. And I'm just going to tell it to, to paste basically everything. Really the only thing I need is motion here. All my motion attributes I'm going to paste those. So I'm going to hit OK and it looks like it's disappeared. The reason why it looks like it's disappeared is because it is now behind this clip here. See, so let's turn it off. There it is. It's just behind that one. Exact same size, attributes and everything. So with this one I'm going to select and I'm going to change its anchor point on the horizontal positioning here, which is this left out uh, parameter here, and I'm just going to slide that over. And if you want to slide that over, it's actually going to be zero is where that exists to get it right up exactly in the corner there. These are touching. We're going to fix that in a minute. So now I'm going to right click on this one. Let's turn it on. Right click on this one. Paste attributes again. Hit OK. It pastes it. Now it's behind this one here. Now I'm going to move that anchor point based on the vertical position here. Move it down. And that looks like it's going to be 0. At 0, it's going to have it up in this corner here. So 0, Enter. And that's down in this corner here. I'm going to select the bottom one. Let's turn this one on. Right click. And actually, I'm going to quickly copy this one and then just and paste the attributes to this one. So all I have to do is one move here. Then I copy that. Paste attributes on this one. OK, and now it is behind here. So all I have to do is grab the horizontal uh, anchor point and move it over to the left. And that's actually going to be at 0, 0 on the anchor point there. So its anchor point is up here in the corner, which is 0, 0 on this 1920 by 1080 image. The 0, 0 point is up in the top left hand corner. So that's at the 0, 0 point, and we have all four of these videos all pulled together mathematically perfect, and they're, they're both along the very edges here. So let's, I'm going to move this one over a few pixels and up a few pixels. So now I'm actually just going to use my position here and I'm going to grab this top left hand corner one and I'm going to move that over just a little bit. Looks like I want to move that over about looks like I want to move that over about 30 pixels. So I'm going to go 930. So 30 pixels over. Let's move this 30 pixels up. 
which is going to be 510. And that's a little too much, so let's go 520, 520, right about there. Actually, it looks like I'm going to move it about 10, about 10 pixels. So the same here. So I'm going to move these all by 10 pixels here. So let's grab the next one. I was just kind of guessing on that, but let's grab the next one. Move that over by 10 pixels. Move that up by 10 pixels, 550. Move that up by 10 pixels. That's going to be 530. Move that up. And over to the right by 10 pixels. It's going to be 970. Select this bottom one here. 950 pixels over and 10 pixels down. Grab this bottom one. 10 pixels over to the right. 10 pixels down. And we've got this kind of nice border going on here. And we've got that, that Brady Bunch sort of look. Let's play through that. There we go. This could tend to go over a little bit more to the right and left, but uh, that's pretty much the concept there. And we've got our little Brady Bunch picture going on there. And everybody's kind of doing their own thing. And there we go.